you've never had Bang Energy Drink, whew, you need to have some. So, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Want. To float. My name is D, and if this is your first time coming to the channel, I like to welcome you. And if you are a return subscriber or just somebody returning to the video, I like to thank you so very much. Please consider subscribing to the channel so that we can continue to grow this wonderful WTF community. Now, as I spoke to you before, we got some dope WTF merchandise that's going to be coming out, and then I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be showing you, and uh, hopefully you'll want to uh, cop some of that, and then show your support for the WTF community so we can continue to grow this channel. Now, for all of my WTF brothers and sisters, everybody who is one wheeling and curb feeling, I want to make sure that I showcase your beautiful boards that you have. If you are proud of your board, please go ahead and send a picture to me with your name and city and state that you are from and send it to wanttofloat.wtf at gmail.com. That is 1-800, no, that's wanttofloat.wtf at gmail.com. And what I want to do is try to give back and show everybody how wonderful this community is and show everybody how much you guys are modding these boards into your own, it's a reflection of your own personality. So what I wanna do is at the end of, not every vlog, but probably every other vlog, I want to showcase everybody with a little montage of these boards that you guys send me so that I can just show everybody just the different, the different styles that you guys have. Now, whoo, woosah, woosah. We are going to finally unbox this bad mamma jamma, this One Wheel XR that I got uh, almost a month ago. Um, we are going to finally open it. So I cannot wait. I can finally just try to see what this product is all about. I've heard so much stuff about it. Uh, I've downloaded the app. I've tried to read everything that I could about this board. And so now is the moment of truth. Either or get off the pot. I mean, I'm about to mm, take a dookie. <laughs> on this world. So, but no, seriously, everybody, I can't wait to open this up. What I'm going to do is I'll open it up, just kind of look at the contents, give you guys my take, my assessment on the build quality of this one wheel. And then after that, I'm going to install a couple items that I got from Landsurf, One Wheel, and Craft and Ride to try to start personalizing my One Wheel. There's one thing in particular that I am totally against, and I've already ended up ordering the piece that will end up replacing it. Now, I ended up ordering it from Craft and Ride. Love Craft and Ride, awesome company. And so I'm going to switch that out, and I will, I, I, once we take her out, I will show you exactly what piece that is. Here we go, let's do it, let's do it. And, uh, hmm, nice foam padding, you know, to protect your one wheel in transit. So I definitely like that, you know, anything to protect your investment. And, uh, hmm, damn, I actually like this. It looks pretty substantial. It's like, it actually looks a lot bigger. Let's take it out. Oh, man. There you go, let's face it this way. Is this the front and this the back? All right, everybody, so there you have it, your one wheel. And there's not a lot that's even in this box. So you have, of course, your, your adapter to charge your, 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 you have your charging pack. You got some uh, business cards, so you can go ahead and throw those out when you're riding by on your one wheel. And uh, yeah, just looking at it, so just looking at it right now, this is a, a very substantial board. I do like the finish uh, as far as the guardrails. Let's go ahead and take, uh, let me move this out the way. All right, like I said, this is the one wheel. Um, you've got the Vega tire that's in the center. This is just basically a go-kart tire and uh, it's already aired up, feels pretty good. The grip pads or the grip tape. The grip tape feels extremely grippy. It's that's what it's, it's grip tape. So 
this is actually one of this is actually what I was talking about. And so let me show you what exactly I was talking about. Now looks very good. Like I said, grip tape is phenomenal. You can see the uh, the two sensors here. You got this line that's in the middle that tells you, you know, that shows you from the back to the front or front to back, depending on what style you ride. This rat here, actually both of these, but this more so, this is the part that I don't necessarily really care for. So this looks good. Um, it has the laser etching of the, or the, uh, yeah, the laser etched one wheel uh, lettering. However, when I've been watching videos, after a period of time, this wood that is back here just looks beat the hell up. And so that is one of my pet peeves. I'm not a big fan of wood anything, especially on something that's gonna get beat up. Uh, and when I see people's boards who have kept this, this wood on here, it looks really beat up. And so, of course, everybody knows wood does not age well, even after it's protected. Um, if you're beating the board up, it's gonna get you know scraped up, it's gonna get scratched, it's gonna get marked. And eventually it's gonna look like wood does when it starts to get worn the hell out. And so for that reason and that reason alone, I'm gonna end up switching this out. Um, I'm probably gonna end up switching this one out as well, but um, I need to do a little bit more research because of the sensors that's up here on my options on switching this pad out. So right here you have the, you have your start button. Let's go ahead and hit that and see what's up. Yep, there it goes. So you can tell it's on. So depending on which way the board is going, if the board is coming towards the camera, it acts as a headlight. You can ride the uh, opposite way as well, and then that turns into your tail light. And you also have on this side right here, you have your female end where your, of course, uh, charging cord plugs into. So, but like I said, this is a uh, very good quality. These guardrails, I can see why people put on rail protectors because this uh, this actually looks really nice. But uh, it's almost it's almost a gimme that these things are going to get banged up and beat up. And so, yeah. Without any further ado, everybody, let's go ahead and jump into installing these pieces. And uh, it's probably just going to do it real quick and uh, do a time lapse. And uh, let's get into it. Completely done, everybody. Whew. Uh, I won't say that, so putting on these float plates and stuff, very easy, but it's tedious because, um, yeah, it's just a lot of pieces, parts. So, yeah, I'm extremely excited, extremely excited to get out there and roll with you guys and finally learn this thing. I won't be rolling with anybody for a while until I can get uh, to get some things, uh, to learn this board almost inside and out and I uh, don't want to put anybody at risk. I want to make sure that I'm comfortable with being around a group of people before I actually get out there and do my thing. Oh, wow. Uh, so there you go. So you got the front. Here go the side. Back. And the side, once again, got my mag handle. That's, I'm loving this thing already, so. Uh, definitely coming in handy. 
So everybody, like I said, if you like the video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the channel, make sure you go ahead and punch that subscribe button and join this wonderful community, everybody. And remember, as always, everybody deployed and I'm out.